into his pantry. So tonight I'm gonna make a quick and easy meal that pops in the oven, you go about what you gotta do, and 45 minutes later you've got this beautiful dinner. And so it's delicious. I quite often send it for my husband to cook for himself because it's easy and I can kind of prep ahead. So anyways, we're gonna have a butternut squash and chicken bake. And I actually have some sweet potatoes in this mix as well because I had cut some of those up as well. So anyway, um, it's easy and delicious. I'm using chicken legs today. I'm also making a little bit of soup to have for lunches this week in the background and uh, uh, it's just gonna be good. So if this inspires you to stay along, I hope you go down in the Wild Tree, um, uh, check out the Wild Tree link in the description box below right next to my Facebook page. I'm gonna be using a new product I haven't used yet. Um, I've used a couple other things in this recipe and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a little different spin and see how it comes out. So hope it encourages you and I hope that somewhere along the line, maybe you give me a thumbs up and go post it on your Facebook page. But most of all, I hope you stay and watch and enjoy. All right, guys, come on, let's go make this. Okay, hey guys, I'm really glad you stayed. This is super easy. It goes really fast, so um, you gotta be on top of it because it does come out so good. So what I normally do when I send stuff for my husband, I will chop up the butternut squash and do all the seasoning and put it in a Ziploc bag. That way all he has to do is put this dish together. He usually does um, chicken breast on top of there, but today we're doing chicken legs. They were on sale. I'm not going to turn down a good sale. So I'm going to put those down into the baking dish. Make sure you can see that. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? I've got uh, two cloves of garlic and some fresh parsley. Got to have that fresh parsley. Okay, let's see. Now, what I'm going to do is I have uh, Wild Trees natural butter flavored grapeseed oil. You could use bacon flavored. You could do whatever you wanted. You could leave that out and use olive oil if you'd like. But um, this is a healthier oil than olive oil to use. So uh, that's why I use it. And I've got, um, I'm not going to throw my garlic in just yet. I've got Wild Trees Java Rub. This is really good on lots of stuff, but especially this. So I'm going to sprinkle some down. I don't, it's not too spicy. It just has that little bit of coffee flavoring and a little bit of the chipotle peppers delicious. I'm almost out, so i got to order some more. And this is the new product, Chipotle Lime Rub, and I'm going to use this in there as well. I've tasted it. It's got a really nice lime bite. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle down a teaspoon of that over the top of that, not even a teaspoon over the top of that, because we're going to do our chicken here. Let's do some salt, this pink salt. Himalayan pink salt, and we've got fresh cracked black pepper, and how easy is this? We're going to have this next to a green salad that is has fresh pomegranate in there, and it's just going to be wonderful. Okay, so I've got my chicken which I'm also going to have to get that on there. Um, so what I want to do is get my celery, or celery, sorry, parsley, parsley, garlic, sprinkle that down in there, and I'll get that out of the way before I get going here. love making these dishes. Winter squash is probably one of my favorites anyway, and it just makes it so easy to toss. So what we're going to do is just really toss this all about. I don't, I want the chicken to get coated. I want the squash to get coated. If you get too much on one piece of chicken, change it up. But 
better have another piece of chicken in there. So you're just doing that toss thing. So if we're gonna serve this for two people, two legs, we'll do three chicken legs a piece just because it could be easily for three people with the salad and oh, yum. Okay, so now I feel like the chickens all got seasoned or pretty pretty much. I go ahead and re-season on top, but I'm gonna nestle this down in here. And you could do this with just sweet potatoes. This is a mixture of sweet potatoes and butternut squash, but you could do a mixture however you want. Okay, now that I'm done touching that, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I've got enough seasoning. I, I can see that I don't need any more oil. So we just want that lime flavor. Chipotle lime. Because chicken and lime and yeah, it's really good. So I'm just sprinkling it down over the and because we have a baby in the house now, we uh, are not doing anything over the top spicy. I mean, he really likes my cooking. <laughs> so, some cracked black pepper. A little more salt. Because Wild Tree's products are not salty. They are, the salt is way down on the list. Um, in fact, this, I'll read the ingredients. Ingredients, oh, it's usually way down on the list. It's number one. Sea salt, lime juice powder, garlic powder, chipotle powder, cumin, paprika, onion powder, coriander, black pepper, vegetable fiber, cilantro, and citric acid. So you could actually mix all those things yourself and do that. I'm gonna put this in a 375 degree oven until that chicken is reached a temperature of 165 and we'll bring it out and show you. It should be, uh, well, it's gonna have some residual cooking. It ends up getting up to 100 and, or 170 internal temperature, but it'll all be good. Fall off the bone tender. All right, guys, I'll be right back. It'll be YouTube style. Chicken's done. All right, so we finally have our meal and it's ready. It smells delicious. I've got my little dinner salad there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a beautiful chicken leg down. And we're gonna need some of our veg. It smells so good. Oh, and how pretty is that? Let's get rid of that. And I think I'll have a little bit more of the sweet potato and butternut squash. And really, that's a beautiful meal in itself. Um, you don't need anything else in reality. So now I'm going to give you a close-up of that, and then I'll give you a taste test and let you go make some of this because it's delicious. And it's, it's hearty, it's healthy, and the chicken is baked. And your squash and everything is baked. So I'll give this squash and sweet potato a try. Mm. Wow, that's delicious. And I've got my salad topped with fresh pomegranate, which is always the ticket. Gotta love it. Let's see what the chicken's all about here. And I don't really want the skin, so I'm gonna get into the meat of this. Grab another piece of the sweet potato. Yum. Mm. Wow, that is absolutely delicious. You guys, I hope you try this. I truly hope it inspires you to try it. This was an easy weeknight meal. I had to do hardly any prep work at all, and I'd already prepped my salad ahead. 
um, yesterday so the salad is good to go for the next few days and the chicken was easy just put it on top of that squash season it up and put it in the oven so I hope if you like this you give me a thumbs up and if you really like it maybe share it on your Facebook page go visit that wild tree website of mine it's a great opportunity to earn extra money at home if that's what you think you need to do or you can just go um, on there and check out the products that I use today. Alright guys, as always, God bless.